This video is brought to you by Ace of Twelve Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Hey guys, Ace here and welcome to C++ tutorial number 12. Uh, today we're just going to be looking over the next kind of loop we have and that's the do while loop. Uh, so let's jump straight into it, might as well. Um, so first include the i stream, declare main, uh, we don't need to include anything else, we'll just start putting stuff for the moment. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And here, we declare a variable called control, but whereas before we were, we were giving it a value of uh, 1, because it was necessary for the type of loop we were using, here we can give it the value of null, so the user gets to assign it, uh, the user gets the first turn to assign it. Um, and that's because we're using this do while loop, and I'll cover that in a sec. Actually, I'll cover that now. Um, basically, what the do while loop does, um, because the, the condition is down here, the loop will always loop through once. And that's why we can have this, this control variable set to null. Because this loop, it will hit the loop, it will go through the loop, so it will output in loop, output please error number. Uh, then it will hit the uh, input, and that will take in. Um, hopefully, the user will um, follow the rules and input either one or zero. Doesn't really matter if it, if they input zero, then it's false. If they input uh, any other number than zero, it will be true. Um, and then whatever they input there, uh, first it will output two space two uh, carriage returns. But then it will hit this while loop, and that's when it determines whether it runs through it again. Um, and uh, that's why we can do this null, because whereas with the while loop, let's just uh, go back here for a sec. I've commented it out, so it's a bit harder to see, but uh, it should be okay. With the while loop, the condition was all the way up here, so I had to c check the condition first, and the condition had to be true uh, before the loop could run. Whereas here, because we're checking it at the bottom, gives us a chance to run it first and then determine the outcome of, determine whether we run the loop over again or uh, whether we exit out of the loop um, in while we're inside the loop um, and let's just demonstrate that quickly let's run the program so here we can see it's output it out of the loop then it's output it in loop because we're now in in the loop output it please enter a number and now it's waiting for input um, oops. So I'm just going to first input 0 to demonstrate that this works. If I input 0, it will first output those two spaces again. Uh, we're going to cover that when we look at um, the break statement in a bit more detail. Um, and now it outputs out a loop and it waits for the... Uh, the uh, ho this just holds the program so we can see that this outputs out a loop. Um, and regardless of well, yeah, regardless of what this is, if it's 1, it still won't matter because running through the loop once, right, and inside the loop, we uh, we determine the outcome of whether it runs through again or whether it stops. So this value will always be overrided, okay? No matter what value we this starts off as, um, it will always be overrided, and that's, that's the good thing with the do-while loop. Because the do while loop will always run once, regardless of what the condition is, because it's checking the condition at the very last moment. Um, again, actually, uh, that's a bad example because it applies to both. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it then. Um, basically, what you need to understand is that do while loops will always run once regardless of the control and after running once they'll start checking the control okay so after you run them once you can't uh... you can't then not care about the condition um, and to be honest they're not really that much more useful than a, a while loop do whiles, you know, the only advantage, as I've said many times now, is um, the fact that they run through once. Uh, although that's not much of an advantage in programming, because if you're a good programmer, you're always being, you always pay attention to uh, the conditions and make sure they always work. 
even in the do while loop, even if it runs uh, once, you still got to pay close attention to what your condition is. Otherwise, um, no matter what the user enters or whatever determines whether the loop runs through again, it will always be false if you haven't paid close attention to it. So, um, really, you should probably try and use while loops more than do whiles. But do whiles are perfectly acceptable. Um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it then. Uh, quick tutorial, I guess, on the do while loop. Um, I've just recorded this after n doing number 11, so I'm still considering whether the next tutorial will be the calculator. I'll check what number 13 is now, because I've actually forgotten. Well, I think I've got an idea of what it is. Um, and we'll see. So this has just been a quick ASAP12 tutorial over and out.